Hey tasters, there are many red wines out there for us to enjoy. Many are rare indigenous red wine grape varieties and you should never pass up an opportunity to try a new wine. However, there are three red wine grapes that grow well in wine regions across the globe and you would be hard pressed to find a wine list anywhere in the world that doesn't include several examples. These are the most popular red wine grapes. They are the red noble grapes, Pinot Noir, Merlot and Cabernet Sauvignon. Let's look at Pinot Noir first. Pinot Noir is the lightest of the red noble grapes. It has been cultivated in Burgundy since the 12th century. Compared to the other red wine varieties, Pinot Noir is lighter in both colour and body. In fact, there is a translucent quality about it when you hold up your glass to the light. The reason is because Pinot Noir grapes have thinner skin compared to the other red noble grapes. As a result, the colour and intensity of Pinot Noir are lighter too. Pinot Noir is a bit of a princess in the vineyard and by a bit of a princess, I mean a lot of a princess. Far less hardy than Cabernet and Merlot. Yields need to be kept low and even then it's hard to please. It doesn't like too much wind, it can handle too much heat uh, but hates the cold too and its super thin skin means that fungus and rot and all manner of disease are perpetually a threat to its well-being. Her Royal Highness Pinot Noir prefers cool, dry climates and stony, chalky, well-drained soils. So why are we all so obsessed with this grape? Like the best of princesses, Pinot Noir has been sprinkled with glamour and fairy dust. Its elusive aromatic profile makes it irresistible to wine lovers. Cool climate Pinot Noir especially is a bright offering of red fruits such as cranberries, cherries and strawberries and it comes with a fascinating layer of earthy aromas such as mushrooms, truffles and forest floor. Pinot Noir is the wine to pair with more challenging dishes such as game, mushroom risotto but also fatty fish such as salmon. This Pinot Noir by Terlan is rather a favourite of mine. It's a gift from my good friend Nikos Georgiadis, the owner of Art and Wine Studios in Lanaka. He is my go-to Italian wine expert. This Pinot Noir is beautifully concentrated. It has spent 12 months in barrels. As well as the usual red fruit, such as strawberries, it comes with a bouquet of complexity that never fails to fascinate. Flinty minerality, tobacco, mushroom. Like the finest dinner companions, it is gentle and elegant with hidden depths that will keep you mesmerized. And it has such a divinely long finish. The next two noble grapes, Merlot and Cabernet Sauvignon, are often found as a pair in Bordeaux style blends. Let's look at Merlot first. Cool Climate Merlot is closer to Cabernet Sauvignon in its aromatics with darker fruit and more savoury and earthy notes. In contrast, Warm Climate Merlot is more fruit forward with sweeter red fruit notes being more prevalent. Merlot is less earthy than Pinot Noir but also less tannic than Cabernet Sauvignon. I rather like this example of Merlot of Chateau Julia by Domaine Costa Lazarivi. It is pure, unadulterated delight. Red currant jelly, cherry jam, plums, mint and chocolate. It's all pleasure. The tannins are velvety and perfectly integrated. And what fascinates me most is that the high alcohol, 15%, is almost imperceptible. It adds to the body without ever drawing attention to itself. Pair this with grilled steak on date night, Sunday chicken roast with the family or a cheese board and your favourite TV show. You can't go wrong with Merlot.
Last but not least is Cabernet Sauvignon. Cabernet Sauvignon is one of the best known grape varieties in the whole world. Cabernet is similar to Merlot in many respects. Dark fruits such as dark cherries, dark plums and blackberries dominate. However, Cabernet Sauvignon has smaller berries with thicker skins. This means the ratio of tannins and phenols is much higher compared to Merlot. This translates to more herbal and earthy flavors, more tannins and more color. In a word, more complexity. Cabernet loves red meat. Beef, lamb, pork or game. It will pair with them all. So just channel your inner caveman. Should I be PC in this context and say cave person? One of my favorite examples of Cabernet Sauvignon is this one. Imicria Lepu or The Little Fox by Yannikos Winery in Greece. Named after the red foxes that trot around the vineyard, this organic Cabernet spends a year in oak barrels. This multi-awarded Cabernet is rich and perfectly balanced. Aromas of dark berries and herbs and fine, elegant tannins. And incredibly, though it loves meat, this particular example can easily be enjoyed on its own too. Trust me, I have done the research for you. So, there you have it, tasters. Pinot Noir, Merlot and Cabernet Sauvignon. Which one do you like best? Let me know in a comment. If you have enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and remember to click on the red button to subscribe. I will see you on the next video.